back to school for students all across Michigan, but for the students in the city of Detroit, their school year is kicking off without drinking water. Nick Monticelli joins us now live with how the district is addressing the parents' concerns, the faculty concerns, especially on a hot day like today, Nick. Yeah, we've got the heat advisory in place. Rhonda, good morning to you. So it, I guess you could call this a good thing. The DPS CD district is essentially saying they were testing water levels for lead and copper all summer long and spring long and realized they had some issues. So instead of trying to fix things, instead of trying to put some temporary things in place, they shut everything down and they're bringing in water. For the parents in the DPSCD school district, the back to school supply list might have water on it too. 50,000 students like Devin start school today. I love learning. But there is concern about the water. The district tested water, fountain sinks, all the drinking fixtures in Detroit public schools. Not all test results are back, but enough show elevated levels of lead and copper that the district shut them off in every school. Out of an abundance of caution, um, and not needing, in my opinion, to wait for the test results of the other schools, uh, we made a decision to turn off the drinking water in all of our schools uh, and move to water bottles and water coolers. Providing coolers and bottled water for students will get expensive, but it became the best option. Still, many parents will send their kids to school with their own water supply. They're actually going to be bringing bottled water with them um, just for any safety precautions because we don't know the actual particulars of everything, but you, we want to make sure that they're prepared. The Detroit Water and Sewerage Department says the water going to the schools is fine. The problem is the pipes and fixtures in the schools. Plumbing that is old and outdated, and given what the city of Flint has gone through, it's hard for parents not to worry. I'm kind of nervous ever since the Flint situation. You never know when somebody's water is bad and when it's not. Yeah, so, so you're going to send him with bottles. Oh, definitely, yeah. So we are being told, or at least we've heard, that to fix all the plumbing and all the pipes in all of the DPSED schools, that would cost about $500 million. So, Rhonda, I don't see that happening anytime soon. But given that and what happened in Flint, I completely understand why there are parents waking up this morning with a jug of water to send with their students. Absolutely. You definitely want to be safe than sorry, but that infrastructure problem isn't going to go away. So something no. definitely needs to be done eventually. Nick, thank you.